Welcome back painting friends. Today we are gonna paint a cute little Valentine's Day gnome. So the colors you're gonna need are pink, red, gray, yellow, blue, purple, white, and black. My favorite brushes, my one inch flat brush, my number 10, six, and one round brush. Don't forget to have a cup of water as well as a rag handy for keeping your brushes clean. So let's get started. Uh, we're gonna start by making some um, top to bottom lines, so some vertical lines using gray paint. So I don't have to really go down this way because that's all gonna be my ground, but everything up here is going to be my fence. So I'm just gonna make some straight vertical lines in gray. I don't have to cover the whole background in, but I do wanna cover about three fourths of it in because I do want gray to be my main focus of my color. From there, I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm gonna grab a lot of white paint and I'm gonna lighten up some areas. So I don't have to lighten up the whole thing. Um, I'm allowed to leave some of that dark gray in there, but I'm gonna lighten up some of those areas with some white paint. Take that brush, I can wipe it off. I don't have to wash it off. So now I'm gonna go in with pink paint and I'm gonna drop just dots. So I've got my one inch flat brush and all I'm doing is stamping dots of pink paint on here. Make it relatively random, okay? You don't need to make it perfect. Wipe that off and then you're gonna gently brush these colors in. So we wanna have a little bit of pink in our background, but not too much. Wipe that brush off really well. Same brush, I have not washed it yet. I'm gonna go with my black paint. And then I'm gonna make some very straight-ish black lines. So they don't have to be all the way touching, okay, so they, they can kind of pop off the line a little bit. But we're gonna make three of them. And we wanna make sure that the breaks in the line are at separate points. So I don't want each one to have three. But this is gonna be the slats of our board. Now down here at the base, we're gonna go ahead and just take some red paint. Again, I have not washed my brush off yet. And I'm just gonna pull these colors in with some red, kind of cleaning up that baseline. I can take that brush, wipe it off. I'm gonna go in with some gray paint. I'm just gonna add some lines of gray paint. So I'm just kinda wanting to make this not such a bright, strong red color. Throw a little bit of gray in there. There we go, I think our background is finished. I'm gonna wash my brush off. Look at that, I have a baseball hat on tonight, so my canvas got hit by my baseball hat. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my brush off, and when we come back, our background will be dry, and we'll be ready to add in our cute little Valentine gnome. Okay, so with a dry background, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our number 10 round brush. And we're just gonna kind of lay out where our nose is gonna go. So I'm gonna use white paint because, well, it would be easy to cover up. So I'm gonna start first with his nose, which might sound a little bit weird, but we kind of gotta lay this out. So it's gonna be in the center of the canvas, top to bottom, just off to the, off to the right, just a little bit. So there's gonna be an oval for his nose. Now from there, we're gonna make his hat because really it attaches to his nose. So it's gonna be like a swoopy line up, over and back over. So it almost looks like he's now has a mustache on the top of his nose. It's going to get very narrow, very quick on both sides, almost like an upside down heart. And then from there, it's going to drape over to this side and this part right here will also drape over and then we'll come to a point. So now we have our little gnome's hat right here. Now our gnome beard is really gonna start from the hat corners and kind of come down a little bit jaggedly 
all the way to the bottom. Now we're gonna edit this line slightly, but this is where we know we don't have to paint any other colors. So it's really just kind of a zigzag line down. Our gnome's feet are really just gonna be um, kind of, actually I think I'm gonna make his beard a little bit wider. Look, see, we gotta change things as we go. If you've already made your beard, make it a little fatter. We don't really wanna make any body parts in there. So his little gnome feet, I think we're just gonna make them be little boots, so little curved lines over and back. Just little bitty gnome boots. Now over here, we're gonna make one arm and it's gonna come from um, where the hat is. And all it's gonna do is kind of come over and down and back up. So it's just like a little rectangle. And his hand is super simple. It's just a bump. Over here though, he's gonna be holding those three little heart-shaped balloons. So again, we're gonna start right up here where the hat is. But this time we're gonna go down and we're gonna just kind of bring it up. So it's just gonna look like a little check mark right there. Again, with a small little bump for his wrist. Okay, that's the only thing we really need to lay out right now. So let's go ahead and add our color in. I'm gonna start with my red for his um, body. So his two arms are going to be red. With this still wet we're going to take just a little bit more white paint and just put it right up here at the top kind of blend it in a little bit and then again just a little bit right up here at the top of these just to show that there's a small highlight wipe that brush off and wash it off now i'm going to paint my entire hat in white even though we're going to add stripes to it so this is probably going to take two coats of paint which is why i thought we better go ahead and get this white on there so we're gonna paint the whole cap in white. While we have this one on our brush, we're gonna go ahead and lay out our um, balloons up here. And you can add more balloons than the three that I'm gonna put in, but I'm just gonna make big fat heart balloons because these are supposed to be our valentine candies right so i'm just going to make three nice big fat heart balloons Let's talk about his beard. So for the beard, we're gonna go ahead and paint this in white. Uh, everything in this whole canvas is gonna be white by the time we're done. Not his nose though. Go ahead and paint this whole beard in white and then we'll add our texture in next. Same brush, I can wipe that off grab some black paint and go ahead and paint these boots in black. And then I don't even have to wash my brush off because the next thing I'm gonna do is just take gray and white together and I'm just gonna start to pull lines down.
Now let's talk about our skin color. You can make your skin color any color you want. I'm gonna take a little bit of pink, okay, a little bit of yellow, and I'm gonna mix those together. I just wanna make a really light um, peach color. If you need to add some white to yours, you can. Um, but just a little bit of pink and a little bit of yellow make a really nice light peach color. But again, you can let your gnome be any color you want. So with that color, I'm gonna fill in his nose. and his hands. Okay, we're gonna let this dry. When we come back, we'll add in our next layer of details. With a dry background, let's go ahead and paint our candy um, balloons in. Now you can use any colors you want. I'm gonna use those light pastel colors that um, you would find in the, the bag of candy. So that means I'm gonna put white paint on my number 10 round brush and a little bit of blue. So that way I'm gonna make this top one right here that light blue color. I'm gonna make one that is gonna be a light purple, and then my last one is going to be a light yellow. Now once I have one all the way painted in, I'm gonna go back in with some white paint and make the top of the heart just a little bit of a lighter color. So just by taking a little bit of white paint on a dirty brush, I'm just gonna make the top of my heart just a little bit of a lighter color. And I'm gonna do that with all three. So I'm gonna make a purple one, and I'm also gonna make a yellow one. Now let's talk about our um, gnome hat. So you can make your, your gnome lines any color you want. You can make them pink or purple or red. I think I am going to do a mix of um, pink and red lines. So I've already got white and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start right down here and I'm gonna just kind of gently follow the curve of this with my pink paint. So I've got a clean number 10 round brush and I'm just gonna add a small little line of pink paint. Then I'm gonna skip a little bit of space, something in white, red, white, and I'm gonna do another pink line, and this one's gonna be a little bit straighter, a little bit less of a bump to it. So if you need to wash your paintbrush off every time so you can make sure that you do your white, and your pink, and your white, and your red, and white, pink, white, red, that's up to you. I am being kind of gutsy, trying to just kind of go out and keep my spaces even as I put my colors in. <laughs> so as they kind of come over to this area, we'll see that they're gonna be fatter at the top and they're gonna get more narrow towards this edge. Wipe that brush off, I'm gonna do the exact same thing in red. So I've got my white, pink, white, 
So in between each one of these, I'm gonna put a line of red. down here at the bottom with a little bit of red and pink on my brush. I'm just going to drop a little heart and this heart's going to be really long. I love that. Wash that brush off. And then I do want to add a little bit more detail to his beard. So now that that paint is dry, I can go in with some white lines. And rather than having them really all blend in together, I can have those white lines kind of stand out and jump out on top of that gray. I'm gonna switch over to my number six round brush. And I'm gonna water some of my black paint down. I like to water my paint down when I'm making super skinny black lines because I just think it works better. So I'm gonna take my um, three candy heart balloons and attach them to the hand. So all I'm gonna do is take a, a very skinny line and kind of go behind the hand and then just down this way. Now up at the very top of these, I'm gonna put a little bow, so just two little bumps with two small lines coming down. I'm also gonna go in and add some ghost lines around his body. Now for me, a ghost line means that it's not a full outline. I don't wanna have a black outline around his whole body. Instead, what I wanna have are small lines that kind of define the spaces, but they don't necessarily have to all touch and connect. So a ghost line is a line that kind of goes around something, but doesn't have to be a full blown line, and it doesn't even have to be super nice and neat. I can even add a couple on his beard. And these are just simple detail lines to just add some accent to our shape.
Now while we have those done in black, we're also gonna take white paint and add highlights to areas that need a little bit of highlight, like the tips of his shoes, the top of his nose, the top of the heart. So there's gonna be lots of little spaces that we can also put little white highlights to just kind of enhance the gnome. For our words on our balloons, you can choose to do this with a Sharpie or a paint pen, but um, I'm just gonna use my number six round brush with some white paint. And remember, these, um, these conversation hearts are always in capital letters. So it makes it kind of easy. There's no cursive or anything. You're just gonna use capital letters. Mine says, be kind, kiss me, and love you. So don't forget that when you're painting at home, I never get to see what you're painting unless you post it to our Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose. So make sure that when you're finished, you sign your artwork. I always put my initials in the bottom right corner. Um, take a picture of what you're making at home and post it to our Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose. Remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Painting with a Purpose, so you are kept up to date on all of our latest tutorials. And remember, as always, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Have a great day, friends. Bye now.